Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, some really bizarre things are happening right now or are about to happen in our skies. In fact, everything from rare occurrences to some being typical occurrences to some unusual things happening, but when you put them all together, it really signals or begs the question, is something big and significant headed in our direction? And what's even more chilling, shall I say, uh, is that on election day, there is a rare total lunar eclipse, a blood moon. And I'm gonna talk about uh, some of the things associated with that in today's broadcast, but lots to share with you. Uh, but as a quick reminder, I wanted to tell you guys that conservative comedian Steven Crowder has gotten yet another strike on YouTube. And if you get uh, three strikes within a 90 day period, you're cut off of YouTube. This is why I want to encourage you guys, get on over to my alternative sites, check out Rumble. Uh, I'm on Restricted Republic. It's this top one there, 27,000 subs. I don't know why the picture is not there, but I'm, I'm not sure why people haven't rushed over in mass and subscribed there, especially in light of what is happening to Crowder. And of course, get to Restricted Republic right now. Get it for $5 per month. Use the coupon code TRUMP to get that $5 monthly rate for the first year. But on Restricted, we share exclusive video content, ad-free content. We do live stream question and answering. So you want to get there, especially in light of what is happening right now with Steven Crowder, the election, and the whole nine yards. All right. So let's dive into this bizarre or these bizarre events that are happening in our skies. Now, I originally found this article on End of the American Dream, a, a website put together by Michael Schneider. Uh, and he headlines it. So this is where I got some of, of, of um, this article from, but I kind of twist it and make it my own. But some really weird things are starting to happen up in the heavens. Uh, and he put this out on November 1st. But I went through and started to look at what are some of these things that are happening in the heavens? And are there any kind of signs and my personal spin on it? Here it is. Here's one of the first things that I noticed. And here we have San Francisco Chronicle. Towered meteor swarms arrives and could be extra bright. How to see it in the Bay Area. This was published on Monday. The annual Towered meteor shower could be its brightest in seven years when it reaches its first peak at the end of this week. But seeing any shooting stars will require more patience and dedication from stargazers and other more active showers. Bay experts warn. Now, what's interesting about this is obviously this is an annual meteor shower that they have. It's not anything out of the normal. This is very normal activity. However, what is interesting is this happens uh, just right before election day or a little before election day on November 8th. And on election day, as I stated earlier, there is going to be a rare total lunar eclipse, a blood moon, if you will. I find that fascinating. Take a look here. And this is on MLive.com. Uh, a rare total lunar eclipse will turn the moon red on election day 2022. It goes on. A total lunar eclipse will turn the full moon into a rust red spectacle early in the morning on Tuesday, November 8th. The first time in U.S. history a total lunar eclipse will fall on election day. That's intriguing. The astronomical event is also the last total lunar eclipse until 2025, according to NASA. While eclipses themselves are not rare, a total lunar eclipse is special because it can only happen when the Earth, the sun, and moon line up so precisely that the moon passes through the darkest part of the Earth's shadow, which turns it that blood red color. Now there's a lot of history that surrounds uh, these blood moons, especially in Bible prophecy, but also uh, not just in Bible prophecy, but also ancient Mesopotamians and Incas also have things surrounding these blood moons. Obviously, I take the Christian side on that. Uh, but what's interesting is that this particular one is 
on election day. Let me show you some of what uh, I guess the ancients believed about blood moons uh, and take a look here. This I found on Bible Keeper up at the top here.com and that's the headline they give it. But if we scroll down a little bit, they share some of the folklore around the blood moons and it says the blood moon was believed to be an omen by ancient Mesopotamians and Incas relating to the death and ouster of their ruler or king. For some members of Native American tribes, a blood moon signifies that the moon is in need of care and concern. They also have got 12 different names that they have for them. So I thought that, you know, was obviously rather interesting for their particular view. Now the Bible also has views on the blood moon. I know, I think it's Joel 2 verses 30, Acts chapter 2 and Revelation 6 all talk about a blood red moon and they really describe it uh, in a way. Well, let me throw up those scriptures so you can see them there. Here's the first one here. I will show you wonders in the heavens and the earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And that's Joel 2 verses 30 and 31. But you can see some of the other scriptures there. But in Bible prophecy, what a blood moon tends to signify is the coming of the Lord, the great coming of the Lord there. And so it can signify that. Obviously, we've had blood moons throughout generations and we've not yet seen uh, at least the second coming of Christ. Uh, but so it can be one of many signs of Jesus's Christ's comings. But on top of that, there's also people who believe in prophecy and Bible prophecy that blood moons can represent war, that blood, room, uh, that blood moons can also represent some kind of significant event. Or some even believe it can represent a coming crisis or catastrophe. Obviously, these are things that people think may be associated with it. Uh, however, I, I find it really interesting. Yes, and again, and I'm going to say this because it is fascinating that it falls on our election day and the fact that it falls on our election day amid all these other things that are happening. And by the way, I'm going to give a huge shout out uh, to Steve Quayle here. If you guys haven't checked him out, check him out. He does a lot of stuff. Uh, this Egyptian and alien connections in the Americas, you guys would be floored. They go in digging through archaeology. Uh, you can check out a, a, a clip for it here. But anyway, get there, check out some of the stuff that he has uh, because he's got some great stuff on end time Bible prophecy if you want to dig more into that. But with that, here's some other crazy things that are happening right now in our skies, right? Take a look at this Forbes article or to our planet and surrounding planets, Mars retrograde 2022, the biggest, brightest and backwards phase of the red planet begins today. It goes on. The fourth planet Mars will soon shine brighter than the night sky brightest star Sirius. But during its entire opposition period, it will be doing something that's hard to grasp. It will appear to go backwards. As of today, Mars will reverse its apparent west to east movement in the night skies and begin moving from east to west against the back ground stars. Now, it's not actually moving backwards. It's our perception of it, by the way. But it goes on. This is called retrograde motion, and it gets astrologers very excited. To be absolutely clear, the position today of Mars in the constellation of Gemini will have no effect on anyone's daily lives. It won't cause communication meltdowns in your life either. It goes on. Astrology aside, Mars in retrograde, which only occurs one time every two years or so is a great time to view the fourth planet and to appreciate an intriguing aspect of how our solar system works. Mars retrograde also indicates that something spectacular is about to happen. So that's two things that you can kind of put together. Something spectacular is about to happen. We've got the blood moon on the election, which again can also stand for something bad as well. But it goes on to state this. So you have your dates, right? From Sunday, October 30th, 2022, Mars will appear to move backwards. And during that time, it will wax towards its biggest, brightest, 
and best, all the while in the constellation of Gemini. And it will continue to move backwards through Thursday, January 12th. So you can see it's in the process of that and all during this election cycle. Now, what else is interesting here, I'm gonna throw this image up here. Some of you may have seen this uh, personally, but this is an image taken uh, here by NASA, NASA SDO image, jack-o'-lantern sun. This came out very, very recently. This actually looks like a jack-o'-lantern there, and you can see uh, the coronal holes, which are downright disturbing because those can cause disruptions on the Earth, by the way. But uh, there we have it. It looks like a ja jack-o'-lantern. Uh, now, I, I obviously, that's uh, all that happened around Halloween as well. So I'll let you take that at will and kind of do with the information as you will, but that's kind of creepy in and of itself. So we've got all these all these things here, right? We've we've got the, the annual Terriad meteor shower. We've got the blood moon on election day, the rare total lunar eclipse. Uh, we also have the Mars retrograde. We have uh, the lantern looking, jack-o'-lantern looking moon there, uh, I mean sun moon sun there and we also have this from the huffington post uh take a look posted just a few hours ago by the way planet killer asteroid spotted lurking in sun's glare and it's headed to earth here it goes on to state this a huge asteroid is headed towards earth earth's orbit but astronomers are not worried the rock has a diameter of 1.1 to 2.3 kilometers and has been named 2022 ap7 discovered between the earth's orbits of Earth and Venus. The study written up in the Astronomical Journal and conducted by the Carnegie Institute of Science in Washington said it was the largest planet killer sized asteroid that they have seen in eight whole years. That's pretty massive. Now here's the good news. It is not going to hit Earth. It's not likely to hit Earth, just the Earth's orbit. Our planet will be on the other side of the sun during its annual rotation when 2022 AP7 gets close to it, meaning there is no chance of collusion anytime soon. Now, Shepard did warn that it will over time move closer to Earth during its orbit, but this will be centuries from now. He added, we don't know the orbit of 2022 AP7 precise enough to say much about its dangers centuries from now. So there you have it. You can have the picture there uh, that they have of it as well. But I find that all fascinating and interesting. I mean, evidently, uh, I would love to hear your thoughts, your comments, and your concerns on all of that because there are some bizarre things happening all at once. And there are some rather bizarre things happening in the United States government right now and on a global scale. Uh, but with that, please don't forget to check out my partner uh, at noblegoldinvestments.com. Look, if you guys aren't already with somebody, please please get with somebody and speak to somebody over there. They're no hassle. You can call and ask them questions and uh, and be done with it. They don't hassle you. Uh, but now is the time to, to get a 401k if you don't have one. And better yet, get a gold and silver IRA and diversify with gold, silver, precious metals, and these kinds of things. And right now, they're giving away, and I'm going to blow this up, uh, this three ounce silver silver coin here that you could see with any approved plan. This thing is amazing. Uh, but this is, in my opinion, the best company uh, to contact. That's why I've had them for years. They were one of my very, very first uh, partners and sponsors here on YouTube. So check them out. Uh, give them a call at 1-877-646-5347. Let them know you heard it on Lisa Haven or go directly to their website, noblegoldinvestments.com, also in the description box below. Even their YouTube channel is there as well. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.